In this video, I'm going to show you some incredible things that you can create using Nano Banana 2. Okay. Let's get into it. You can use Nano Banana Pro on loads of different sites, but my favorite way at the moment is using Higgsfield AI, as I can take my Nano Banana images and turn them into videos using the top video generators available. The differences between Nano Banana Pro and the previous version are pretty huge from my testing, as you get much higher resolution and just does a better job at following the prompts and images you provide it. To start using it, make sure you're on Image, then Nano Banana Pro, and down here you can see all the different aspect ratios. I always make sure to select 4K for the highest detail and resolution. I'll be going through these examples pretty quickly, so make sure to not miss any of them. So let's see some of these crazy examples. One of my favorite use cases is using it for VFX. All I did for this VFX shot was take the first frame of this video and then prompted it in Nano Banana Pro with turn his forearm and hand into Chrome. And the result looks incredible. And I also created a robot arm. This example blew me away. So I created 25 individual images and then put them together into one image. Then I uploaded this into Higgsfield and prompted it with merge all 25 items into one cohesive image. And it absolutely nailed it. If you pause the video and have a look at these images it's created, you will see it's added all 25 objects. It's pretty insane. In Higgsfield, using Nano Banana Pro, you can also add up to eight individual images as well. So I tried it here and I'm pretty happy with the results, but I did notice that the small text on the image does not make sense. So what I did is I just put that image back into Higgsfield and I prompted it to fix the small text. And it did it perfectly. It's quite scary how good it is at solving problems. So I grabbed some different problems online and prompted it with solve the problem and write the full solution on a whiteboard. And it got every one of them right. Now they may not be the hardest, but I'm still pretty happy with how they turned out. In this example here, I uploaded the image on the left and I added my own annotations to it. This is an awesome way at really adding detail to where you want it in the image. And the result was perfect. It looked at everything that I asked it and did it perfectly. I even tested it with writing on objects and it looks great. Then I took that image, uploaded it into Higgsfield and prompted it with create a visual in the style of a comic strip based on the secret message on the banana. And I was blown away that it created this story from it. I still think it's really interesting how it took the message on the banana and turned it into a short story. Nano Banana 2 is incredible at de-aging. So all I did was give an image of myself and gave it a simple prompt of make him look younger. And I've got to say it does actually look like me when I was a lot younger. And here's me when I'm an old man. It's just a really natural aging effect. This one's really cool. I just took a quick photo of my iPhone and then prompted it to create a technical drawing. It's done a really good job of the text and I did another one, but this time of my camera. And here is an exploded view of my camera, which is pretty cool. And for a more professional version, I added to the prompt with professional white background and studio lighting. To be honest, these look like images straight from the Sony website. Now for this test, I wanted to try a really thorough prompt. So this one's for creating a comic strip and I've included all of the text that I want to be included. And it managed to follow that long prompt pretty well. It's included everything that I wanted, it's cohesive, the text is readable, and it's easy to follow. And what's really cool, if you want to continue the story, all I did was upload that image and prompt it with continue the story. And it knows to look at that image you've uploaded and continue the story in a believable way. This is going to be absolutely huge for storytelling. And I even created a manga version. It can even help piece together things. This one actually surprised me. So I just wrote down something simple. So I put, can you piece me back together? And then I tore it up and Nano Banana Pro actually put it back together. Now it didn't get all the rips in the perfect place, but it did actually look at that image and it gave me the correct text that I put on there, which is incredibly impressive. It's incredible for transforming anything into different styles. So I've got this image from the Batman film and I prompted it with turn the whole image into an ink drawing style. And here's a knitted wool style. You can also upload another image of a style that you like 
So here I changed the image of Batman into the style of the animated Batman series, and it looks really sweet. So this is perfect if you already have images of a style that you like. I... I am the Knight. This one's pretty fun, so I changed Ken back into a Ken doll, and then I thought I'll bring back Batman. I really love this image, but then I thought, could I change the text on the board he's holding? So all I did was upload that image again, and then added the edits I want into the prompt. And it came out perfectly. I find it's really good to do one edit at a time, like I did with this image. <laughs> It's amazing for changing camera angles, so I've got this screen grab from the Avengers film and prompted it with ultra wide angle, which looks perfect, then a group medium close up, and a worm's eye view from the ground. And another thing it does incredibly well is adding effects and changing the lighting of your images. So here's a still of Leonardo DiCaprio, and I prompted it with adding snow to the scene. This looks absolutely perfect. And here he's in rain, it's got really realistic raindrops all over his clothing and his face. And here's some prompts where I changed the lighting. So we have a really beautiful anamorphic lens flare coming in, some cinematic light rays, really nice cinematic haze. And as the sun's going down we get magic hour, and then nocturnal fill. These are going to be absolute game changers for relighting and adding effects into your work. It absolutely nails the realistic phone camera vibe. As you can see here with this image of Keanu riding a horse down the road, it does look scarily realistic. And for this one I prompted it with a photorealistic leaked image from the new Legend of Zelda movie. I could see a lot of people using it for shots like this and misleading a lot of people online. To be honest, if I was scrolling on my phone and I saw this, I would think it's a still from behind the scenes. This one's one of my favourite examples of the two Avatar legends hanging out. In this example I wanted to create my own superhero poster, so I generated six individual superhero images, I then uploaded them all into Higgsfield and prompted it with create an epic movie poster, which includes these six superheroes. The title of the movie is Super Bananas. And I'm pretty happy with the posters it's designed. Super Bananas. It works extremely well at adding anything into your images. Adding anything to your image is probably the easiest prompt you can do. As you can see in this one, I've added a big tarantula to me. It looks scarily realistic. Now, this was a fun one to test out the text capabilities of Nano Banana Pro. So this first one is actually from the first version of Nano Banana. So I prompted it with create a food menu containing 12 different banana dishes. Each dish should have a price and detailed description of what's in it, in an illustrative style. This is where we have the big jump from Nano Banana 1 to the Pro version, as the small text in this just becomes really hard to read and is full of errors. Whereas the Nano Banana Pro version absolutely nails the brief, and everything is perfectly readable. It works incredibly well at adding designs and logos to your images. So I created this fake logo for a soccer team, and for the prompt I just put realistically replace the logo on the shirt. And I think it did a really nice job, it even changed the logo into a more stitched design. This one's really fun, I've got this man in an artistic style, and then I prompted it with make the image look photorealistic. And the result looks so good. The likeness from the original photo is really good, and I just love the amount of detail and contrast in it. This example here is using the older Nano Banana, and here is the Nano Banana Pro version. So as you can see, there's just a lot more detail, and just higher clarity in the image. Plus it resembles the original image more. This one is pretty fun, I just prompted it with create an illustrated explanation of the film Tenet. Now it's pretty simple, but it actually got a few things right. And here's one for Inception. I wonder how architects think about this one, as I've got this image of a shed, and I prompted it with create a builder's blueprint for this. It's done a really good job at pointing everything out, getting all the details, and making sure that the text is correct. And for this example here, I wanted to create a brand mood board for this banana. 
I could see this being really helpful if you're starting a business and would like to get some ideas on how to start your branding. You can also use it to retexture. So here I just took a Nike logo and retextured it with a juicy kiwi fruit. It looks really good. And here I made this room all stainless steel. This one's really interesting. It can actually isolate loads of different objects within a busy scene. It's done a really good job at managing to look at the image and notice each individual item and separate them out perfectly. You can use it to give yourself a new hairstyle. I tested it out with Aragorn and I thought he would look pretty badass with a mohawk. I would definitely like to see Lord of the Rings remastered with this haircut. This one is pretty awesome. It does an exceptional job at creating YouTube thumbnails. So all I did was give it an image of myself and prompted it with create a YouTube thumbnail including the man in the image with the title Nano Banana Pro Wild Examples. And while it's not perfect, I think now that we have the 4K resolution, it looks incredibly sharp, it's got good colors, and I could probably use this as a thumbnail and it would work pretty well. So definitely try out this one. It works really well for creating illustrated explainers. Now, I'm not sure if all of this is correct, but it looks good to me. You can even use it to segment clothing onto a mood board, like I did here with Captain America, and it's even labeled each item. It even worked with a top-down blueprint of this old ruin, which is pretty cool. So for this one, I actually put a custom red box around this building here. I prompted it with show the top view of the building in the red box. And I'm pretty blown away with the results, to be honest. And it does really look like a top-down view of that building. It works really well for changing character angles. So for this one, I've got a front view, and then I prompted it with turn the character around, which it did a great job at, but it did change the pose. So then I did it again, but I prompted it with keep the same pose. You can remaster classic video games. So I took the classic Grand Theft Auto 3, which has pretty dated graphics now, and I prompted it with update this image with modern Unreal Engine graphics. And the new graphics look pretty sweet. Then I took it a step further and prompted it with make this image look photorealistic and like real life. And it definitely does look very realistic. And for this example, I prompted it with turn the manga to color and translate to English. Now, I'm not sure if that is the correct translation, but I'm pretty blown away with the results. I could easily see people taking old black and white manga comics and then converting them fully into color and even into English versions using this. This one, I wanted to try something very detailed and see if I could deconstruct it. And I think Nano Banana Pro did a really good job at separating most of the pieces of the stained glass window and creating a pretty believable image. I've had a lot of fun turning things into a coloring book. This one would be really good if you're into selling books. So you could create a whole coloring book using this method and then sell it on Amazon, say. It absolutely nails the style. This was a test to see how well it could work at tongue twisters. I'm not going to bother saying this one, but I think it did a great job. It works really well at creating website stills, and it worked really well for changing the UI into light mode. This one's really interesting. I gave it an image from the Blade Runner film and prompted it with show a detailed diagram on exactly how the lighting was configured, including all specifics. And by the looks of it, it looks pretty accurate. It's even got the subject Ryan Gosling written down in the middle. I even did a breakdown on my lighting, which was actually pretty accurate. Here's a really well done visual representation of steak done from rare to well done. Nano Banana Pro is really good at doing drop down shots, and I even tried to make it more complex by adding two pages of a puzzle book. Now the crossword puzzle is a bit all over the place, but I'm still impressed by it. It can make old photos look incredibly modern. I think it did an incredible job at bringing this old photo back to life. And then I even prompted it with give him modern clothing. You can even do it the other way, where I've taken this modern image and prompted it with make it look like a photo from the late 1800s. I could get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> it. It's also great at removing things. I've always wanted to know what Gandalf looks like without a beard. And I was incredibly impressed as it actually looks like Ian McKellen without the beard. And you can remove things piece by piece like I've done here. 
this is a really good example of just how much detail Nano Banana Pro puts into the images. It looks incredibly realistic and has nailed the look. And again, another amazing visual representation of the ripeness of a banana. But what's really impressive is just how well Nano Banana has followed the prompt. It's great at creating product ads as well, like this one for Sauron Jewelers. And for this last example, I looked at creating different camera looks. So in this image, I prompted it to create an image of a 360 camera on a monkey's head on a tightrope. And while I'm a bit worried on how that camera is attached to the monkey's head, it does look pretty good. And here we have a kind of GoPro wide angle fisheye lens with a man slipping on a banana. And it looks really good at creating that kind of police body cam look. And it nails the dash cam footage look as well. So definitely experiment with different types of camera looks as it can drastically change your images. I hope you've learned some new ways on how to use Nano Banana Pro. And I think I'm only just scratching the surface on what's possible. If you have a favorite prompt that I haven't discussed in this video, then please leave it in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Jack, and I will see you in the next one.